Okay, next question. Right, what damage do high protein diets do? Oh, great, great question, Patricia. Uh, high protein diets do a lot of damage. Okay, so first and foremost, um, we probably you've probably been told that protein helps stabilize your blood glucose. Protein does not stabilize your blood glucose. Protein does the exact opposite. Protein actually elevates your blood glucose. Uh, there's actually some really uh, interesting research that shows that you can take a person with type one diabetes and you can feed them a low protein meal and then you can monitor their blood glucose over the course of the next five hours. You, you sort of can see how their blood glucose rises after a meal and then it comes right back down and it's that sort of like nice predictable curve. Uh, you can then take the same person the next day, you can feed them the same meal except you can increase the protein content. So you're basically just increasing protein and you're decreasing carbohydrate, okay? When you do that, all of a sudden now, their blood glucose rises a little bit, comes back down and then in the like three, to five hour window after the meal, their blood glucose starts to go back up again. And so it's called this late postprandial glucose excursion, which is just a fancy scientific way of saying your blood glucose goes up after three to five hours after the meal. So um, if you have ever experienced that yourself, then you may know what I'm talking about. Um, and even if you're not living with type one diabetes, you just have type two diabetes, what you're doing is you're forcing your pancreas to have to work a little bit harder three to five hours after the meal in order to keep that protein um, from elevating your blood glucose too high. That's number one. Number two, high protein diets can also tend to make your kidney work in overdrive for a long period of time. And the reason for that is because your kidney uh, performs a whole collection of uh, metabolic reactions. And one of them um, requires actually taking protein from your blood and actually getting rid of it and putting it directly into the toilet. So your, your kidney has to do this thing called the urea cycle, and it's effectively manufacturing urea, which is what gives your urine that yellow color. In order to manufacture urea, it's taking protein out of your blood, it's reorganizing it, it's, it's breaking it apart, it's making this stuff called urea, and then it's giving, making water, and then it puts it in the toilet. Uh, in the process of performing the urea cycle, uh, especially when you're asking your kidney to filter large amounts of protein over the course of time, your kidney can get very, very sluggish, and then um, its filtration rate can go down, and it can end up becoming very uh, inflamed. And so there's many research studies that actually show that people who eat high-protein diets actually have more inflamed kidneys over the course of their, their life, and that leads to worse, uh, like shorter kidney health. And the last thing that I will say is that people who eat high-protein diets um, have also been shown to just live less days on this planet. There's this thing called all-cause mortality which effectively um, is a metric for the, the length of an individual's life or their risk for premature death. And what some studies have shown, these are very large scale studies that are done in hundreds of thousands of people over the course of 10 to 15 years, is they show that people who eat higher protein diets, um, especially if the protein comes from animal products, but not if the protein comes from plant products, that when they eat these high protein animal based diets, that um, they live a shorter period of time. So they're, they're what's called their risk for all-cause mortality goes up, which means that they're on this planet for a shorter period of time. Um, again, if you're eating a slightly higher plant-based protein intake, that problem doesn't occur. So, you know, protein can be problematic, but it's especially problematic when it comes from the animal world.